Today on the channel, Turtle Nostalgia has gotten the best of me as I finally picked up the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Playmates original re-release line. Welcome everyone, Kyle here, and welcome back to the channel for another Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle unboxing in the review, and usually we're doing cartoon NECA figures, movie NECA figures, Super 7 Ultimates eventually. Uh, we're doing a lot of turtle stuff on the channel, but this is our first go around the old sun with Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Playmate figures, and these of course hit me in the old nostalgia bone as I was up with Ninja Turtles when they first hit in, what was it, 87, 86? I was six, seven years old when Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles first came onto the cartoon airwaves, and I was hooked from the word zero, from the word go, I was all in on them. Of course, the Ninja Turtles were a big part of my childhood. I would be lying if I said I was more of a G.I. Joe guy, I was more of a wrestling guy, a uh, He-Man guy than Turtles, but Turtles was right up there, top four or five licenses for me, and uh, a lot of charm to the Turtle toys back then, and I really did like the animated cartoon, and I still like it now, and one of these days I'm going to work my way through the entire series when I find the time, hopefully sooner than later. But these Turtle Playmate figures, as most of you guys are probably fully aware, I believe a Walmart exclusive on all your Walmarts. The brand new modular at the Walmarts, they're on the bottom shelf. So if you're looking for them, they are there. About a $12, $13 price point. You can probably get them at Walmart.com right now if you uh, went onto their app, I'm sure. Uh, but very nostalgic for me as I had all four of these Turtles when I was a kid. But I'm one of maybe the few Turtle fans that never bought these since then. Uh, and I had mixed emotions about the original Playmates turtles obviously nostalgia reasons being a kid going into the store seeing these guys i really did like them but i remember being disappointed how many of the figures didn't look like their cartoon counterpart the way i wanted them to which is funny all these years later we're getting the perfect cartoon representation from neca but then we're getting these upsized into super seven which i have put my toe in if you guys have been following along on the channel so much more to come on that but i figured it'd be fun to open all these on the same video not a lot of differences, so this should go fairly fast instead of a normal four-figure review as they're really the same mold, same everything. So once we talk the mold and articulation, we don't need to talk it for the other ones. It would just be basically the colors and weapon differences and packaging differences. So without any further ado, let's do this like we do all the other unboxings on the channel. First, we're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to see where it goes from there. So let's kick it off, and we're going to go right to this one. And it is Leonardo. Oh, Leonardo. Looking only like he can look, leading the turtles. Uh, now, I don't have a good enough memory to know if the packaging is 100% the same. Obviously, the years, the dates, some of the fine tooth stuff is going to be changed. But is the packaging 100% the same? I believe it is. Uh, ages 4 and up, Leonardo weapons, katana blades. Uh, very cool looking though, very nostalgic, very nostalgic for me. Not the best representation of the turtles, but for the nostalgic purposes, it definitely, definitely is. Very, very cool there. On the back, we got a little bit of a story right there. I'll take a picture and you guys can pause it if you really want to read the whole story. But uh, kind of uh, with something that's missing from action figures in this day, it sets the tone. What are we getting? Maybe a kid hasn't seen the cartoon but likes the looks of these. He can read the story, use his imagination, figure it out. I like that idea. Of course, you got the turtle cross cell right there, warnings, UPCs. Then you got Leonardo with the big file card right there. Let's see what it says about Leonardo. It says, clip and collect, which a lot of us did, of course. Portrait of Leonardo, the battle commander for the turtles. Vital st tortistics, <laughs> not statistics, tortistics. Katana blades, turtle fist daggers, ninja stars, comma. Birthplace, McMahon's Pet Emporium. Vince McMahon? Dun, dun, dun. Chesapeake Bay. Height, 5'1", 155 pounds, age 16 years, shell bulletproof and shock resistant. Like his Florentine Florentine namesake, Leonardo is the perfect turtle in the lidless eyes of his allies. He is known as the unofficial commander of the turtles and Splinter's star pupil. Because of his keen eyesight and sensitive hearing, Leonardo is extremely well balanced, which makes him more skillful when wielding his ever-flashing katana blades. No matter how dangerous the situation, Leo doesn't mind sticking his neck out. His primary objective in life... Cut Shredder down to size. Well, we'll see how that goes for him. But let's get him out of the package. Falls off the card. Old school style. Love that a whole lot. See you later. There it goes. See you later. There it goes. Plastic Prison. And there it goes. Plastic Prison. Leonardo right there. 
And then we are strapped in, and it has these newer straps. And gosh, what did we unbox just recently that had these newer straps that aren't quite twist ties, not quite rubber bands? I uh, got to think it's uh, for uh, cheap cheapness. It's cheaper, and it was a different way to go to market. I think that's why that happened. I'm not sure what that is technically called. Get it out. See you later up high. There it goes. So just meters, Leonardo got a little sticky disease, which seems a little bit strange. But man, this really does take me back in time. I haven't really played with one of these turtles or handled one of these turtles in a long time, but it just reminds me of being a little kid, you know, six, seven years old, going to the toy store and just walking the aisles. Okay, there's wrestling, there's G.I. Joe, there's Transformers. Uh, He-Man was pretty much done by about 86, 87, at least for my collecting. And then you had this new thing, Turtles. And I remember distinctly going to Toys R Us and KB and you do your checklist. Okay, I'm hoping I'm going to find... Uh, you know, uh, whoever it is, um, let's say Kempatera LJN, because every kid wanted a Kempatera LJN. You're looking, okay, he's not there. Then I'm hoping I can find uh, Dusty. I want Dusty G.I. Joe. Okay, he's not there. Well, then I'm going to dabble some turtles. You use that mental checklist as a kid, and that's what I did. But I remember having to have the four turtles, and I believe my dad bought them for me in one fell swoop. Had to have the turtles, then I got Splinter, I got Shredder. So from there, and I pick and choose. Bebop, Rocksteady, Foot Soldier, April. I had the main players. I didn't go super deep into the line because, hey, guess what? You're a kid. You don't have a ton of funds. Uh, but I had a lot of fun, just not a lot of funds. There you go. See what I did there. So he does got a big uh, peg hole on the bottom here. I don't have any stands that this would fit, but it is interesting. So there's apparently stands for these guys if needed. Uh, articulation, I'm going to walk through Leonardo's articulation. I won't have to do the rest here. The head moves. You can turn it all the way around. You do have his nice blue bandana going on. Uh, blue, because Leonardo always wore blue, of course, the leader of the turtles here. But it does not have any articulation on that. You do have elbow articulation. It's just side to side, up and down, all around on the arms. But no side to side, no butterfly joints, nothing fancy here. This is old school articulation. Uh, the legs were always pretty good articulation-wise. You could move them out a little bit, a little front, a little forward. Uh, I always thought the legs were the most articulate of the old turtle toys. And then Leonardo, you always know it's his face. He's kind of got that kind of half smirk thing going on right there. Uh, the two white eyes on him. And then the, you got the blue on the elbows, blue on the wrist, blue on the knee pads. Once again, just showing the colors of Leonardo so you know what you're doing here. Uh, then you get the tree. I guess a weapons tree, is that what we call this thing? And we got pieces of plastic falling out of it already. I absolutely hate these. Yeah, I'm going to say it right here. I didn't like them as a kid either that I had to break my own toys out of here. I wish they came in like a baggie or something to the side. I understand why they did this because it is uh, very fitting. It is like nostalgic based here. This does, I think... Uh, maybe not. I think it's supposed to stand up as like a little tree. Uh, it's got little like anchors here for legs, but you got these little like uh, dagger things, but I always thought they looked like pizza. Uh, that's just me, maybe. I don't know. And then he's got a little, uh, I don't even know what that weapon's called. And of course you got Chinese stars. Chinese stars all the rage in the 80s. I've told my Chinese stars, Tories on the channel before. And then of course, when you're talking Leonardo, you got to talk about his weapon, uh, the old katana blade. And I'm going to pull that out. I just don't like this. I don't like this tree thing where I have to unwrap them. I just remember absolutely hating it as a kid, and I hate it more now. So, uh, I don't know. I don't know. But he does have his katana blade. It is pure orange. There's no detail. There's nothing on these. Just the way it used to be, of course. Uh, but he does have his blades right here. You can put them in his hand. You can put the other weapons in his hand, whatever you want to do. Choose your own adventure. And then, of course, Leonardo, if we all remember back, you can put the sword you got to be smarter than the backpack thing here, but the sword will funnel through into his holster in his back. Very, very classic. Very, very cool. And then I did not mention the little L right there for Leonardo, so you always know. Funny, these famous painters, most kids never know, but then you know them through the turtle days. Uh, it's just kind of funny how that ends up working out. But here's the whole tree. I'm not going to unwrap all of these. We'll do them for some of the glamour shots. Same thing with all these guys. But there's Leonardo, the leader of the turtles. A good start here. Uh, I enjoy it. Now let's take a look at the next one, and the next one's going to be, which one is it, Raphael, Michelangelo? It is Michelangelo, my favorite turtle, and most kids on the old playground loved Michelangelo back in the day. Uh, I know some people love Donatello, some, but it seemed like my area, we were all in on Michelangelo, because we were all a bunch of party dudes that loved pizza. That's what we were uh, growing up. Uh, maybe you were too, but there's Michelangelo. Same packaging uh, style as Leonardo, same tree back there, same pretty much everything, just a little bit of orange instead of blue, and bam, you got Michelangelo. Getting the most out of your molds, uh, playmates ahead of the curve back in the day. Beautiful packaging, though, very nostalgic, as I said. 
On the back, same kind of thing going on. We saw it the other one. We got the blurb for Mikey. Let's read that. Let's see what's going on with old Michelangelo. The wild and crazy turtle. Weapons, nunchuck, turtle fist, daggers, ninja stars, and a comma. Birthplace, Woody's Pet Shop, Pennsylvania. Uh, it's weird they were all born in different pet shops. That's interesting. Height, five feet. So he's an inch smaller than Leonardo. 150 pounds, age 15 and a half in people years. Hard, polished to a waxy finish is his shell. So good to hear that. Michelangelo is a party reptile, just like Kyle was a party dude. Uh, even though the sinister shredder may be slicing his way through the manhole cover, Mikey stays cool, cool because he's the master of whirling nunchucks. It takes eight pounds of pressure per square inch to break bones. The nunchucks generate 90. In the midst of the most perilous of battles, Mike can be seen swinging his deadly nunchucks in one hand while dangling a wedge of pizza in the other. And I do that, usually most reviews I do, I have a slice of pizza right here and I just kind of grab it in between takes because I am a pizza king in some circles. Uh, Mike dreams that someday use Shredder's cutting armor to grate cheese on his pepperoni and ice cream pizza. Now, I can't like that anymore. Very beautiful. Truer words never been spoken. I'm here for it all day long. Off the card. See you later. There it goes. See you later. Whoa. Knocking things over as usual. It's the way we do it. Plastic pr prison? prison for Michelangelo. There he is. Looking only like Michelangelo could look. See if we can free him from these new twist ties. I think it might be the wave of the future, these new twist ties. I don't know what their game is, but they're taking over. They're taking over. Get that out of here. I got to think most people watching this video had the old school ones. See you later. Very iconic. A lot of us had them as kids, of course. Now, he's got the opposite Leonardo face, where he's got the little smirk on the opposite side. And then, of course, we've got orange throughout on Michelangelo. Uh, very cool look. Same articulation, same everything else. He does have the M. It's hard to see a little bit, but he does have the M on here. Then, of course, his back shell. you got spots to hang. His nunchucks, of course. Got to have those. See if I can free one of these nunchucks. I don't know. I, I keep saying this, is the, this was the downfall of Ninja Turtles for me as a kid was these little plastic pieces here. I just did not like them. Maybe I can cut through them. There we go. I guess work uh, smarter, not harder in your old age, Kyle. Uh, but he does have these nunchucks going on. Yeah, I mean, they aren't the greatest weapons. They weren't the greatest weapons back then. But it, once again, nostalgia. This is what we had back then. And that's what we have now. Obviously, we want fancier stuff. We go to the Super 7s. We go to the NECAs of the world and get these up there. But very, very cool nonetheless. There he is. That's old Mikey. That's Michelangelo. I'm here for it. And I guess I didn't know this as a kid, and I guess I'm going to say it now. But obviously, they have their primary weapon, the nunchucks. But then the stars and all the other weapons, they all share in common. So uh, if you didn't know, now you know. There you go. Now we look at Donatello. And it feels like maybe it's just my circles or what. But in later years, everybody says Donatello is their favorite, it seems like. Which is weird because he was probably my fourth favorite back in the day. I was like Michelangelo, Raphael, Leonardo, Donatello. Uh, I was kind of thought of him uh, later on, the Blue Ranger. I was kind of thought Donatello and the Blue Ranger were very similar. Both uh, kind of scientific guys. So maybe that's just me. I don't know. What am I talking about? But there's old Donatello right there. There's got the weapons tree behind him, of course. And... Same turtle action we've gotten in the other ones, but we got a little different colors to him. So there it is on the back, same back going on. Cross cell, UPCs, warnings, blurbs at the top. And then we got his file card. We're going to take a read of the old Donatello file card, see what it says. Portrait of a Donatello, the turtle's creative genius. Weapons, the bow, staff, turtle fist, daggers, ninja stars, comma. That's the weapons they're called. Um, let's see, birthplace, <laughs> Joe's pet place, Slow Oklahoma. Okay, four feet tall, so he is very small. Uh, 145 pounds with shell, 15 years old, hard as tank armor is his shell. Donatello is the best idea turtle you'll ever find. He's the brains of the group and the designer of the turtle vehicles. Rather than use his bow or brawn, Donatello would prefer inventing some device or clever apparatus to foil the foe. Still, Don's one powerful reptile with his staff, which enables him to parry, vault, and crush. Even Don gets turtle-sized pleasure in stomping the foot. After a tough battle, Don relaxes by watching programs on his own tur invention. Turtle vision. Oh, what do you know? What do you know? Turtle vision. Sweeping the nation. Can I get this off? Can I get it clean? There it is. See you later up high. See you later off to the side. Goodbye. Once again, you got old Donatello. There he is. It's just a uh, repeat. Rinse and repeat with these four turtles. But you got to have all four turtles. Uh, were you one of the unlucky kids out there that somehow just ended up with two or three turtles or one turtle? Uh, and then what did you do about it? See you later. Not everybody could get all four turtles. So what do you do? Do you just play one turtle? Do you... 
Uh, I don't know. It's very, very interesting. I should say, too, I didn't make this comment, and it dawned on me right now. So Michelangelo is a more of a fluorescent green color. Uh, Leonardo, a more dark green. Uh, Donatello, more of a brownish green. And then uh, another bright green on Raphael. I forgot to mention that. It's a very important piece of the puzzle. Of course, you got D for Donatello there. You got the holster for his bow staff on the back, of course. And then instead of one side of the mouth or whatever, you got both sides of the mouth with kind of the teeth showing on Donatello here. But everything else is different. More of a purple color, but it's almost like a, a midnight dark blue than a purple. Uh, which I find that to be interesting as well. So let's get this staff out. I'm just cheating. I'm cutting it. Cutting it out. There it is. Cut it out. Cut it out. Like a young Dave Coulier. Yes. One of the all-time great comedians. Don't argue me. Uh, he's he's great. Uh, love old Dave Coulier. Uh, but there it is. Look at that. He's got his bow staff in there. He's ready to party. He's ready to throw down. Uh, very cool, and a very underrated weapon. I remember as a kid thinking, ah, oh, it's just a stick. What, what's the big deal? But in later years, I've come to appreciate the old bow staff, uh, maybe through other movies or whatever. Uh, it's almost like a baseball bat, you know, in, in some ways. But Donatello, very, very cool, like him as well. These are all good. And, I, you know, they haven't told us they're coming out with more turtles from this line or anything like that. I think I'm good with these four. Just these four. I do have the party wagon. Maybe we'll unbox that next week. We'll see about that. Uh, but I do have the party wagon. Uh, maybe that'll be a nice little display for these guys. Last but certainly not least, my second favorite turtle as a kid is Raphael. And there's old Raphael doing Raphael things in the package. He's got his arms up uh, like he's in a holdup or like he's robbing a bank or something. And then, of course, you got the weapons tree in the back. So there it is, Raphael. And on the back, we got the blurb at the top, blurb on the side. We got the cross cell, UPCs, warnings, all that fun stuff. Let's see what it says about our old buddy Raphael. The witty voice of the turtles. Weapons, Psy, Turtle Fist, Daggers, Comma, Ninja Stars. He is from Shelley's Pet City, New Hampshell. Oh, beautiful. Five foot one, 147 pounds with shell, 15 years old. His shell is as hard as old chewing gum. Oh, very interesting. Uh, Raphael is the wittiest turtle you're likely to stumble over. If things aren't going his way, his tongue snaps out sarcastic jokes dipped in poison. Oh, poison. Even though he's referred to as the snapping tur ninja, the turtles know he means well. Raph's, Raph's clever skill with the deadly sigh allows him to strike at a distance and really keeps the foot in stitches. His way with a manhole cover has made him famous in sewers everywhere. Oh, boy. Raph uses the 100-pound disc to flatten the foot and to shield off anti-turtle blast. One good turtle deserves another, it says. Very, very cool. Playmates, ages four and up. Nickelodeon.com. Very, very solid. Very solid. Trip down memory lane. See you later right there. See you later right there. Goodbye. And then, of course, the old plastic prison for Raphael. Talk about getting the most out of your molds. He-Man really invented that, really. If you go back, you think about it. He-Man was the one that first gave us get the most out of your molds. And a lot of toy companies took that success and carried it on. See you later. Goodbye for the final time. Now we get down to Raphael. All right. Now he is definitely like a frost green turtle. Uh, and gosh, I don't remember it as a kid. It's been so long, but obviously they are. I've seen them, but the different colors of the turtles. Uh, very, very clever to make some more differences because it would have been very easy just to have different red bandana, green bandana, whatever. And then that's the only differences, but they did put differences in here. Uh, the arms do pop off too. I think if you push hard enough, they will pop off fairly easily. Uh, these are more akin to little kids' toys, uh, little kid turtle toys. This is what you'd want to buy a little kid that wants Ninja Turtles. Uh, currently on the market, for me at least, this is what I would buy them. I wouldn't be buying a little kid Super 7 or a NECA. They're going to be real disappointed when it breaks on them uh, with just a little bit of play. Uh, and that's exactly what would happen, as we all know. Let me cut this sigh out. There it is. Put that over there. See you later. And we put one sigh in his hand. A sigh, a very lethal weapon as well as we know. You know, stick somebody right up the throat. Oh, there they are. They're dead. Goodbye. He does have the Donatello-esque face as well, but more teeth showing. So they all have a little bit more. He's got teeth going through the middle on both sides. So they all have different expressions, which I do appreciate as well as that. Uh, you can also hold his sighs here in his front uh, if you want to store them on him. So you get some storage for some of these weapons. But articulation-wise, all that kind of stuff, the same as all the other turtles, as we know. But very, very solid, as always. It's probably always going to be the same for me. It's how I grow up. I don't ever change. So Michelangelo, my favorite. Raphael, my second favorite. Leonardo, third favorite. Donatello, my fourth favorite. I think that's just how I am, and that's how I've uh, 
came to appreciate my turtles over the years, especially the old Playmates line uh, from the mid 80s. But very, very solid, a nice trip down Nostalgia Pass. For about 50 bucks, you can get this whole set. That's really not a bad deal for nostalgia purposes. Another $35 or so, you can get the turtle van and man, you're off to the races. Go to Little Caesars, get a $5 pizza and man, what do you got at night for about a hundred bucks? Well, you're just living the dream. The turtle dream is what you're living. But what kind of dream are you living? Any thoughts here on these Playmates turtles? Did you have them? Did you have all of them? Were you deep in the line? Were they your number one collection as a kid? Honestly, for me, I was uh, G.I. Joe number one wrestling, uh, He-Man, Turtles, uh, Transformers, Star Wars. It was kind of a mixed bag after that, but G.I. Joe Wrestling were my strong one and two. Uh, but Turtles were definitely in the mix. But what say you guys? Let me know in the comments down below. Make sure you like this video. Give it the old thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram at the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson. Twitter, SirPaul64 on Twitter, of course. And then ProWrestlingTees.com. Support the channel. Pick up a Turtle Anxiety t-shirt. So there it is for the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles playback, playback, Playmates edition. I'm Kyle. See you guys all real soon.